Well, we're out here again working on the uh, old uh, four-stroke swap on the motorized bike. And in the last video, you saw me uh, do some finishing work on this perimeter shroud for the clutch and chain and jack shaft assembly. And then I also fabricated this cover for the shroud. And so what I'm going to be working on today is actually getting this cover welded onto the perimeter shroud. So I'll get going on that. I gotta do a little bit more grinding around here to get it to a little more snug fit. Uh, so I'll get going on that. I'm not gonna bore you with uh, watching me grind. So I got the marker out. I'm gonna draw some lines and uh, do some grinding. And then uh, we'll fire up the welder and lay some tacks on there. And then we'll do some, I don't know, probably six, eight, little one inch stitch welds. I'm not gonna do a full perimeter weld. I don't wanna distort uh, the metal too much. Uh, when I did those dimple dies, you can see it uh, distorted the shape of uh, this cover plate a little bit. So uh, certainly don't wanna make that any worse uh, than it is. So I'll get to grinding and then I'll fire up the camera again right before I tack. Okay, I just did a little more grinding on this uh, uh, top panel here and I just want to show you the warpage that uh, the uh, dimple dies uh, caused into the hole into the uh, piece of metal you know of course that was flat uh, when I started and uh, it uh, kind of became unflat you can see right right in this area you see the big gap well basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack I'm gonna come in here and you know put a tack weld, push it down, put another tack weld, and just kind of work my way around until uh, this cover piece uh, has a good uh, perimeter contact with the outer uh, shroud. So I'll get uh, going on that. I'll get the welder started and uh, get you guys put up on the tripod. All right, so now I'm gonna get started welded on this uh, little shroud piece. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get it mounted, find two areas where uh, this outer cover and the perimeter cover match up. And I'm gonna put two tack weld, I'm gonna put a tack weld in those locations. So we'll get this kind of lined up. And I can see right in this area, I've got a good contact there. So right there, so I'm going to put my first tack. Okay. So then I'm going to come around onto this side. And I'll have to push down a little bit. Right there is going to be my second tack. Just quick little tacks like that, that's all you need. So now we just kind of make our way around the rest of the perimeter. Okay. So basically I'm just working the flat areas, getting those tacked down, and then I'm gonna work my way around, just pressing down on this top plate uh, until it matches up. And oftentimes, what I like to do is use the butt end of my hammer to push down so that way I don't burn my fingers or anything like that even though I got a glove on. Now this back area you can see there's a pretty large gap there so I need to push down on it kind of hard get my hammer. Hopefully this thing doesn't go flying off the table. Pretty good right there. Got that. And one little area right here needs to go down just a tad. That's it. Grab my glove. And you can see we got our outer perimeter 
tack welded on. So now I just got to come in here and uh, lay on a few uh, stitch welds and uh, this cover will be finished. Alright friends, we got the uh, outer uh, cover welded onto the perimeter cover and I said I was just going to do little stitch welds around but I just decided to go ahead and do a full perimeter weld. Uh, this is not my best work. Uh, but it's not bad. I'm going to grind it smooth and make it look all fancy. Uh, but yeah, I just, you know, skipped around a little bit and then took a few breaks for, you know, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, kind of let the thing cool down and try not to get too much warpage out of it. I don't think it warped any more than it already was from uh, using that uh, dimple dye tool. So anyway, now all I got to do is just let it cool off a little bit and then... Uh, Hit it with the uh, grinder, get it smoothed out.